afternoon ladies and gentlemen. I'm um, coming to you vlog 7. I don't have my other hand so I can't make a 7 but you can. If I wave it real fast, there we go. Um, so my my daughter's friends came over, my best friend's kids, and uh, they decided to play so I'm gonna go in there and show you what that's what that's all about. What do we have here? A kitten and a butterfly. Some dinner so your sweeties can eat. And you, what are you doing, kitty cat? Dressing myself up as a kitty. I'm a human cat. No, I'm never. And what do we have in here? Miss Butterfly. Hello, Miss Butterfly. <laughs> and you, what are these on the floor? Uh, something rusty was there. And uh, it left rust marks. Either that or it's a giant monster that hides in the closet and watches Caroline when she sleeps. Giant closet. Giant monster. Giant monster. What kind? Uh, one that eats children. Wait a minute. I'm changing into him right now. I'm afraid of cats. I'm the only monster that's afraid of cats. I'm getting a lot of one in here. Oh, yeah. Ah! 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 Hey, guys. Something funny just happened to me. I thought I'd talk about it. I was uh, taking a bath. My, my mother-in-law has this, like, giant bathtub. It's, it's made out of tile. It's probably, like, six foot by, like, three feet wide, something like that. And uh, I was taking a bath. And she wasn't supposed to be home for like another hour. And uh, I was rocking out to uh, War Pigs. But I was singing. There was no music on. It was just strictly in my head. So I was, you know, singing War Pigs at the at the top of my head. Or top of my lungs. And uh, she came home and was home for, I don't know, the, at least the whole time I was singing. And then uh, I came out and I was like, oh, I didn't know you were home. She's like, yeah, I could hear you singing the whole time. So, I mean, War Pigs isn't one of those songs where like you're you know, singing a nice, it's like you're screaming, so if you, if you know Black Sabbath, I mean, that's, that's the style, so, anyway, that's it for now, uh, probably have something else up tonight, hey guys, uh, today I'm gonna grill a steak, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you how I make, how I make my steaks, and, uh, do kind of a do-it-yourself video, so first start out with the steak, um, you want to have your steak at least an inch thick. If it's less than that, it's going to cook too fast. If it's more than that, it's going to take too long to cook. Um, so I normally go to an inch to an inch and a half. Um, what I have here, I actually use TexJoy steak seasoning. Um, I've found that to be tried and true. And I use salt, and this is pepper that I actually grind on there. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually season this about 20 to 30 minutes before you put it on the grill. What that does with the salt is it actually brings the moisture to the surface and within the 20 or 30 minutes it brings enough moisture to have a nice crust but doesn't drain enough to take all the moisture out of the meat. Hey guys, alright now we're outside with the grill and I want to explain the reason I didn't tell you how much to season is because everybody has a different amount that they like to season. Um, my wife pretty much likes no seasoning on hers. She just likes to taste um, the steak by itself. So here's what we have. All right, we have the steaks. I've already preheated the grill. Um, I normally have like to have it um, pretty high when I first start. Most people say about 450, something like that. I normally like to start at about 500. The reason is I like to sear the uh, both sides of the steak, and then what I do is I actually turn it down, and I have it probably at about 350, and that's how I cook for the majority of the time. But the initial sear of the steak, um, I like to have it at about 500. And you'll, you'll see why. It kind of just makes a nice crust on the steak. All right, so here we go, guys. Uh, this is a gas grill, by the way. Uh, it's a really nice grill. I use these tongs right here. I just kind of throw them on. All right, so we put that on. You see the, the heat kind of instantly seals in that flavor. You can hear it sizzling. And uh, what that does is it keeps all the moisture inside. Yeah, that's, that's a great sound. It keeps all the moisture inside. Now, cooking like this, it's probably only going to take about uh, 
you know, about three to five minutes for each side to completely sear. Then you're going to turn it over, do the other side, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the heat across the grill. Now, technically, I didn't have to turn the other two on. I just kind of do it because I want an even temperature across the grill. All right, guys, it's been about three minutes. I'm going to turn it over. Check it out. You see those nice grill lines on the steak? Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. See that? That is great. All right, now... What I normally do is about halfway through the cooking time on the other side, I actually turn it down, and I turn it down to medium heat. Now one thing I forgot to mention to you guys is your choice in the cut of meat. Doesn't matter, whatever cut you like is fine. However, what you're going to look for when you choose your meat is you're going to look for some fat on the meat. You're going to want an even marbling, um, not too much fat concentrated in one area. All right, guys, it's about halfway through, and as you can see, I turned it down halfway, and we're going to let this just continue to cook. I'm probably going to let it cook for another five minutes on this side. All right, guys, now I've flipped it. As you can see, it's a nice, beautiful golden brown color on this side. Um, this side didn't cook as much. That's just due to the uh, inefficiencies in the grilling surface. But... It's, it's beautiful. And uh, I'm going to let you guys see when uh, I actually pull this off the grill. And we're going to see the taste test for my family. And we'll see how it goes. Alright guys. Now as we open this meat, I can't really do it with one hand. But uh, it's, it's about medium rare in the middle. And uh, normally if you want this rare, I'd say subtract probably about 5 minutes. I gotta tell you, my math was a little off. I said 23 minutes. It's probably about 20 minutes because I didn't really go the full five. But, uh, yeah, that's basically what it takes. Uh, now I'm about to take these off the grill and we'll see what they taste like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, now for the taste test. Taste a little piece. And how is it? Yum. Alright. I guess it was successful.